everybody welcome back to my channel so my name is Cassandra welcome if you're new and um, I make mostly uh, knitting videos so you can see my other knitting videos I have on my channel I think I've only got like three of them but um, this video is gonna be about all of about what I've knit in, in 2020 so I counted how much I have that I'm playing if I'm not missing anything and it's uh, 15 I think I got 15 of them I don't know I've got it all written here so I can say the right name from the right designer and with the right pattern and yeah so I'm going to start first with what I'm wearing right now. It's the Wrap Me Up Scarf by Chantal on Knit Attitude, so on Instagram. And it's the um, thing here. So it's like a, a, you knit the sleeve first and then it's like a long, long, long scarf. I think it was like 80, uh, 80 inches or something like that. It was very long. And then you finish with the other sleeve so and I noticed like a little bit like different ways you can put it so this is that it's very nice and yeah it's different I like it and but mine though it's a, it is a little bit like loose I think I've put it a bit too loose so if I will to do it again I I uh, maybe do it like less big or Something like that, yeah. So, I got that. The other one is the Pride Pride Yoke by Knits and Nuts. Um, it's by Jenny on Knits and Nuts Instagram. And it is, so it is the Pride Yoke, but I've I've only done it with like the colors I already had. And um, yeah, so it's here. It's like a sleeveless little t-shirt knitting t-shirt and um, the stripes here are supposed to be like all the curves like the LGBTQ community so like the rainbow colors and um but uh, yeah I just did what I already had and what's also really nice about it is that um, during the month of June 20% of the proceeds went to the Rainbow Resource Center, which is a Winnipeg organization uh, supporting the LGBTQ community, and um, yeah, which bring like resources to, like uh, uh, for the kids to, like 50, uh, 55 and plus, and, and and like teaching and different like resources. So it's really nice, and also about that one. It was my first, um, like, uh, pattern tester. So, a little, I was very excited, but, like, a little bit of me was, like, really nervous. Because, like, I had work, had all my courses uh, with that. So, um, yeah, I was a bit in a rush. But, not that it was a very nice experience. And she, for the one interested, she also has the, um... Well, I made a knitting one, but she also has the crochet pattern, so if you're interested in that. And uh, so, the next one, next two ones, are from We Are Knitters. So, this one is the Dive Tea, which was a super, super actually difficult to make. Well, I didn't think it was difficult to make. I thought it was easy, you know, because it's mostly just knitting. And then, you know, you just let it drop here, the right one, and then, you know, just whatever makes the design, it's super easy. But no, I had to redo it like three times. I swear to God, if I had to put it, do it like four times, I would have, well, quit doing that one because, like, it was not working with me. And, um, which is, I was just super confused because it was like, that's easy. Like, I made stuff more complicated than that so I don't know if my hair was not that in the time or something but yeah I almost quit on it but I'm happy I didn't and I have it 
all finished up, so yeah, then you got the sleeve, the nice details, and nice color, and the nice, yeah, so really nice. And then the other one is the Buffalo cardigan. So I'm just gonna wait to fast forward this one here. So this one, yeah, the Buffalo cardigan is like super, super long. We've got pockets on the side, 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 yeah, side, and with the really big sleeves and the ribbing, and yeah, so that was one of our Christmas gifts from last year, well, in 2019, and, um, but I actually, I've only worn like three times, I think, um, it is, it is nice. And it's made with the petite wool from Ronnie Terrace and um, yeah, but it's, it's, I mean, it's big, it's heavy and so yeah, <laughs> but nonetheless, it was really fun to make and I, and I finished it for my Christmas, uh, my birthday last year in March, so it was very nice. After that, I've got the Skylar crop top by um, Grace. On on the Instagram, her account is for the frills, and uh, so yeah, it's a nice little crop top, very a nice blue. I love this really like this blue. <laughs> I really love this blue, and um, I love like the the design of it. And yeah, so uh, last summer I went on the beach and just. Like walk, like turning around my house, so it's a nice like chilling top to put on. So yeah, I really like that one. And then I made and this 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 is this was my quarantine project, or this is yeah this is, and um it is well the, it it didn't it don't oh my god I can't I can't, I can't speak sorry. <laughs> um, it doesn't really have a name, it just is called Sweater with Lace Panel, panel whatever. Uh, it's from a vintage magazine. And um, yeah, so it was very fun to like make a, a sweater from like a vintage magazine because like it doesn't look vintage, you know, it doesn't just like stays in the. I, and I don't even know the date, like it doesn't say like the from when the magazine and the pattern came out, but like. Just said it's vintage, so I was like, okay. But no, it's still trendy. Well, kind of, whatever. But yeah, I really like it. All the lace, the, pa the designs, and it was a very big project. It took a very long time, but I love it. And uh, yeah, so I got that one. And then I've got the. I've got, I've made two mittens here. I don't, I don't remember the pattern actually, but I think the pattern was like the easy, it's like something of the most easiest, easiest mittens to make or something like that. And it was like the, it was, there was the word easy in it, you know? And uh, yeah, so there was that. I don't get, I don't got the, I didn't make it with the right um, needle size. But it's a little bit tight, but it's fine. And it was with the Karen, um, I don't know if it's a Karen cake ball or something of that yarn, but uh, it's from Karen, 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 I don't know. But yeah, and also from Jenny Nut, Knits and Nuts, I've made this hat, which is actually, I won't lie, it's, a real, it's really tight. I don't wear wear it often. I think, cause this part is loose. Like all of these, the pink part is very loose. It just like the heart so is very tight. So I've probably like made it like too tight when I was holding my yarn. So it's kind of sad, cause I really like it. 
and I also um, so I met spread the love hat and her throat beanie so the beanie I think I put a picture here so it's like the red with no well, white hearts so these, these were my like Valentine's hat so I liked it and uh, ch -ch 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 all the rest are gonna be pictures so like I don't um, it's like stuff I made for Christmas and stuff like that. So I made two Kansas City cheap set and it's a pattern by Muta Morris on Ravelry. And my brother and my dad are like really big fan of Kansas City Chiefs. Yeah. And uh, and I think it was my first like design. Well I already made designs but like with words and stuff. So it's very nice to just see like the words appear more and more and um, yeah so I really liked it and you really liked it too so I put pictures here of them with the hat and um, yeah and then I've made a kind of like a mess so I don't really know the name but it's like a messy bun beanie or something like that so when you have you can and the hole on top with your bun sticked out. Um, I made that for one of my corker. And uh, yeah, I used the hometown yarn from Lion Brain. And uh, also, I made another beanie, which is Phoenix Hat by B Knits Handmade on Instagram. And I have the yarn here because I'm actually making like a scarf for one of my other corker and I really love this blue it's like this rich blue or something it's like really nice and that's like the yarn so I made two of those and then I think oh I got two other stuff two other thing I made I made the Dodi Baby by uh, Stephanie on All About Amy on Instagram and I put a picture on so on the side um, so yeah I got for the pattern and the yarn I got it for Christmas last year by well 2019 and it was a gift for my grandparents so I made that also in quarantine and the last thing I made which I think is one of my most like the thing I love the most to make yeah it, it was like a very special gift for my brother's girlfriend. It's from her partner, a Knitting Magic Book. So I got it, I, I bought this one last year, like when it came out in January. And uh, I didn't, like, this was the first time I made, like, I had other, always other projects to make, and I, I didn't make any of them. In, of that book but uh, for Christmas I decided to make a, a half a buff scarf for my brother's girlfriend and um, I had like a I had to do it so fast for Christmas because I I started in October but then because of COVID mm, I had a little bit of yarn but then the rest of it took like so long to, to come so um, I, th I got it on, I think it was the 17th of December or 18th. So I got, had to like a sprint run through it because I only had like probably like this, like, this done. Had to make like like three times that or four times that. So, or five times, I don't even know. But yeah, so it was like a speed, like a speed run or something to make it a finish on. Christmas Eve, I was so tired. I uh, like to make it because like I, well, at the end I didn't really enjoy it as much because like I had to like really go fast to make it to finish it. But um, yeah, so it's it's I can show you like the it's the um, here. And I made the up above one. So, but I'm planning on making like next year. Well, this year, my wrap up of this year. It's gonna be uh, maybe some other Hogwarts, Harry Potter, Hogwarts stuff that's made in. I have some ideas to do. So yeah. And, um, but yeah, I think that's, that's 
that's that. I think I've, well, yeah, so, I didn't make as much a thing as last year, I know. Like, last year I made, like, most, a lot of, of, of knitted Christmas gifts for, like, my grandparents stuff. This year I made other stuff, other things, um, but, yeah, I'm so proud of me, and that's that, and I hope you like this video, and, uh, if you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up and um subscribe if you want and yeah <laughs> so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time or later this year so <laughs> bye guys